Two, one, go. Hey everybody, welcome back to Common Sense EU4 Multiplayer featuring myself, Northern Line, as well as Quilla, Roomba, and Mathis. Say hello. Go Poland. Hey. hey. How's it going? Go Poland. Is that who we were voting for? Uh, Poland is my ally. They have to win this war for me. Oh, I see. Hey, you're going to be fine, man. I, I can't do anything. I have to sit here, so. If Poland loses that war, there's a huge problem. Especially considering they have all of Lithuania under personal union. Well, I was right. telling Aruba when you guys were gone, I declared Mecklenburg as a co-belligerent so that Poland could attack the Teutonic Order. Okay. While yeah. I fought. So a lot of their men are now in the Teutonic Order uh, country right now just to weaken them because I want to bring the Teutonic Order down in size. Yeah, that seems sensible. But uh, it backfired. I got stack wiped. Is there any reason to unmothball a fort if that province is not going to be occupied or like besieged. I guess if you're sure it's not going to be occupied, then yeah, there's no reason not to mothball it or leave it. Yeah, it just depends on how confident you are in your ability to remember to do things. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I honestly sometimes leave stuff on. It's just like, well, I know me and I'm not going to remember. So mm -hmm. that's how I feel about maintenance a lot of the time. Here comes Poland, 32,000 men. You go, Poland. <laughs> Again, Quill, if, you, could, if you have a fort in your capital, uh, then it's less scary because there's always a garrison. You could have at least told me you were about to piece him out because I could have I could have moved my army so that as you shattered Hess, I could just have been in his capital. Oh, oh, and I didn't just, realize you'd. Oh no, you haven't declared war, but you're planning on it. Well, I would have done it. Okay. Because they're at like half morale and half strength, but no, now, now I'm gonna lose. No expansion allowed. All right. Anyway, how about that twenty percent revolt risk, huh? It's pretty high. What is going on in here? Now Brunswick's Brunswick's fighting Mathis now? So it's a, it's a clusterfuck. It's this is good. a great opportunity to fabricate a claim on Brunswick. <laughs> it's a great opportunity to attack Brandenburg. That's <clears> true. Well, that is also true, but I, I would like to be a nice guy. Hopefully Bohemia doesn't hate you, Mathis. Uh, Bohemia is minus six. Uh, they, don't, they don't hate you. Yeah, let's improve our relations with Bohemia. They hate Austria. <laughs> I, I keep noticing that happened to me in another game too. France actually steals Navarra now, instead of Castile or Aragon. Oh, cool! This hasn't happened yet though. So Poland it? lost that fight. That's um. Oh, a vassal under France. Reassuring. Uh, did it really? You want you all right out there? I'm just gonna run. Here's what. This is gonna be the same thing that happened in the Hearts of Iron Four event. You freaking throw, make an AI super strong, and then you play as Pomerania <laughs> again. You know, like that dude who fed Hungary and then was like, I'm going to play Hungary. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. In the Hoi 4. Nice guy, though. Well, to be honest, though, that was a glitch, I think. Like, Hungary wasn't supposed to get that stuff, but there was a peace deal glitch. I am unconvinced. Yeah, that's <laughs> possibility. Because I'm directly involved, I'm unconvinced. <laughs> All right, I got my one regiment over here. He's just going to siege calm. Go for it, buddy. I'm really liking the changes to the way that sieges work with forts. And loot is so much more fun now. It's like playing Crusader Kings 2. Mm -hmm. How do you loot now? Just stand just in a province. Be, oh. be in a province. Yeah. But that it seems pretty good. If there's a meter on each province, it'll say, like, there's seven gold worth of loot in this province. And if you're standing in it, it'll say something like, you will loot 1.25 gold per month in this province, okay. as long as you have troops there. And you so can what you're saying is I should declare war so I can experience this new mechanic. War is good. Let it war be said. War never changes. That's I true. believe what Quill is saying is I should declare war mm -hmm. right now. Mm -hmm. Originally, the timing Wait, on what that the fuck was going to be happened? a lot better. It said I, I, had ter I had sieged it, but then as I left the county, it went away. Maybe I was just occupying it. Is that different now? I don't know. Let's try that again. There are mothballed forts in your country. Well, why don't you go fly a kite game? See if I care. Oh, you can't see uh, enemy troops. There's like a fog of war now. It's always been the case. Really? Yeah. You can... This can't be something <laughs> I'm just noticing for the first time. I mean, if you're allied uh, with someone, then you have vision. Because I just like, I walked over and then... There were troops there that I didn't expect to see there. Oh, no, no. If you're adjacent to a province, you should be able to see into it, as far as I know. Yeah, you have yeah, one maybe province they, moved in. they probably They must have moved in at the same time that I moved in or something. That's entirely possible. 
That makes sense. That was very concerned momentarily. Saxony, they... you and I are going to have words later on if you take Castle. I have to. Why? There's nobody else. I want to form Westphalia in the long term, and I need Castle for that. Well, we'll do what we did in the first episode, or the first series then. Mm -hmm. Negotiate some kind of diplomatic trade. But you're going to need to have something that I want, or you're going to have to take it from me, I guess. But let's just ignore that. Yes, let's. <laughs> Oh, okay. That's cool. When you occupy, you get a pop-up now. That's why I thought I sieged. I was like, I, I got it. That was quick. If you leave, does it auto It goes occupy? away, yeah. Really? If it's next to a fort, the fort will automatically okay. recap. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Mm -hmm. Unless That's... the fort is being sieged. Poland, right, stop right, right, losing right. fights. Hey, uh, so Northern Line, you, you attacked Hess, right? Correct. You feel like maybe telling them that they can't be friends with their ally anymore, Clevs? Oh, you want me to annul treaty? I'm just saying it'd be nice if they didn't have any alliances, wouldn't it? Well, I'm pretty sure that they're just going to get full annex, so... Oh, really? You just get a full <laughs> annex all of them, huh? And there's their two provinces. Alright. So what was your aggressive expansion like, Will? Did you... Oh, like 2.5. Hmm. It was nothing. And I know for what a fact hell? I could have fully annexed Clevs um, and not gotten... It would have gotten me up to a max of 22 with someone. That's crazy. Yeah, I, I, I think thought that, I they guess... may have lowered it in the HRE or something. I'm not exactly sure. Ooh, a grand ball in Kuhn can arrange a ball or don't arrange a ball. I'll arrange a ball and, of, course, a ball. of course, invite the Doge of Venice as well, because could you imagine not inviting the Doge <laughs> of Venice? Come on, Poland. Pull yourself, pull your shit together. Come on. Stop losing. Man, this is looking, it's looking a little fucky up there. Yeah, Mathis, you're kind of <laughs> occupied. I've got three <laughs> occupied out of my, well, four out of my six, all right? What's your national unity? <laughs> Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes that people won't. Oh, wow, I unmothed like my fort and three of them on my, okay, that's awesome. I really like that. I don't know what happened, but it worked. Oh, yeah, because they're adjacent. And that's the thing. Uh, a province without a fort sieges after one cycle. Like, you get into it, it says 100% right away. You just have to wait for it to tick, and you'll occupy it. But, yeah, if there's a fort, then... Boop. Goes right back. I don't know what to think of this new reality. I, I can't even understand the chain alliances that we've got going here. Yeah, it's complicated. <laughs> like, Arumba's allied to Bohemia, who is also allied to me, but we're not allied to each other. But we're fighting wars against the same people right now, and Bohemia is helping both of us. <laughs> yep. A three-way alliance just means that if any one of us attacks the other, then... It's two on one. And Poland keeps goddamn losing all their fights. That's why triumvirates are notoriously stable. <laughs> the <laughs> totally. most stable diplomatic structure in the world. I lost again. Stop. I've got faith in you, man. I think I'm going to be fine, but... Some of these provinces are brown. That's a good thing. <laughs> all but one are brown. But they're all occupied by not you. Wait, are you talking about my country? I'm talking about um, Pomerania. Oh, yeah. I don't know who's occupying them. It's not me. You are correct. They're at war with somebody else as well. They are at war with Oldenburg, the Hansa, Munster, Utrecht, Brandenburg, Poland, Moldavia, Mazovia. man. I know, but I'm saying all these countries are attacking Pomerania. Right now. Okay. Including I thought you were like... You know, they, I'm not at war with them. They're at war with Brandenburg. <laughs> you know, Brandenburg is really, or not Brandenburg, Bohemia is really passionate about sieging this province for me. Mm -hmm. They're suffering 7.1% attrition for me. <laughs> hey, Bohemia's oh. the elector. Hey. hey. The emperor. Oh, we're going to be so strong now. Nice. It's time to go to town on Austria. Okay, time to vote for someone else. <laughs> All right, I, I think we should elect mm, Saxony. Mm. Mathis. Well, you, you are eligible. Mm-hmm. Oh, of course. Stop. What's going on here If you now? want to siege something, Poland, you don't need all 15,000 men just to kind of train <laughs> around. Yeah, the AI is a little bit derpy when it comes to forts right now. They I have think. been since the game launched, right? <laughs> yeah, but they need some work because they, they tend to get stuck on forts and then suffer lots of attrition. <laughs> I'm just going to vote for the current emperor so that yeah. uh, he's a little less likely to actually do anything about unlawful territory. 
Yep. Not being that ally I plan on picking any more. Oh no, yeah. You don't yeah. need to expand. No, no. I'm so excited because I'm about to grow like, oh, 60 percent. That's huge. What do you think is a uh, a good idea to take first uh, in the HRE? Diplomatic? Back to you. Uh, diplomatic and influence both have some pretty interesting things there. Mm -hmm. They have slightly, I... like they have some overlap and then they do slightly different things. And we're a long ways away from ideas. Their ideas are unlocked at five. Admin Tech 5. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. Okay, good point. <laughs> How's that uh, C.J. Hessen going? You, I see you have a, a disease outbreak there. I'm not paying attention to that because that's my um, my ally. Gross. That's an Doesn't matter to me. It's kind of gross. Ah, oh, crap. Come on. Come on, Magdeburg. Ooh, everyone's fabricating claims on Berg. That's interesting. Very disappointed in Anhalt's inability to uh okay that's fine uh to defeat that province or besiege that province not doing a very good job of it hmm. Hmm. there we go 67 percent because clavez is untouchable I might, I might go and redeclare on them. We'll yeah, see. or cleave. Sorry, whatever. Cleavage. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, they're they're too far away for me to get in there. All right, now we're winning. There we go. Actually, Atomic have, order got smacked down real hard. Actually, that war could end up being awesome for you if you can take a lot of land up there. Cause... I'm hoping I can. Yeah. In the first, I think it was the first game that we played when Quill was with us. Yeah, I was on the I Hensa. Got yeah, yeah. I got oh. embroiled up there for like a hundred years before I could really get any momentum, so. France declared war on England. Things are things are heating up. Mm-hmm. A hundred years war is restarting. Because they start in peace now, with common sense. England and oh, France really? do not start in a war. Hmm. But they're almost guaranteed uh -huh. to go to war instantly. It says you war was in It says If I if I tried right now. It says, you cannot declare war on a member of the Empire if you are allied with the Emperor in a war. So you can't abuse, you can't abuse that anymore. You can't, like, sneak, sneak countries <coughs> off of people. Oh my god, this jerk. Sorry there, Saxony. Decline my military <laughs> access. <laughs> You're already taking something I want. I gotta do things to slow you down now. I don't even want, like, this is just to knock them out of the war. Clavez, Cleves. Um... Oh, I can just walk through your country anyway? Oh, because they and have access rights. No, it's because you're at war and the emperor's in the war. Oh, is the yeah. Austria's in the war? Or no, Bohemia's in the war? Bohemia's yeah. Bohemia's the emperor, yeah. Uh, but you have access. Okay. It's... Every province in the HRE, you have Oh, so I don't need access. this, this uh, military access then. Mm -mm. You guys mm -mm. are fighting my province. Make me feel uncomfortable. I didn't mean to do that, actually. <laughs> I think it's going to work out, but I, it was not my intention. All right. I don't know who I defeated there. Was it? It was Cleves. Get out of your Cleves. Nobody likes you. Now I gotta make sure that I manage this piece properly. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, my ally will be pissed at me. If you want to uh, break some alliances that Cleves has, that wouldn't be bad. Although I guess I have a truce that lasts forever with them, so it's sort of moot. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I want all of Hess. <laughs> and then I think that that should cost 100. Because full annexation, if it's under 100, always costs 100, right? Well, they got rid of full annexation. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so oh, now you can fully annex someone and humiliate them and take their money. And it's kind of okay. awesome, actually. Makes it actually possible to use the humiliate. Yeah, much it, it more was consistent. very rare. Very rare really that you actually... Is, like, pro-prestige? Power projection. Power projection, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Rule okay. challenge, lose 10 devotion. Come on! 
Well, right, I'm feeling a lot better now. Oh, thank God. Would result in Hess's annexation, minus 76. I can understand how you would be not pleased <laughs> with that peace deal then. But I like how it's not like minus 100. It's just, eh, you know. <laughs> They'll hate you, but whatever. I'm pretty negative on it, but I could be convinced if you take over all of my land. Yeah, so in practice, you still need quite a bit of war score above the cost of a province. Unless the war has gone on quite a long time, there's a lot of exhaustion, etc., etc. Oh, so I guess the longer the war, the more likely they are to accept a peace? Yeah, because there's a negative It's length of war, which starts off like very high on the AI side. So they're very unlikely to give up much if it's a short war. But then after a certain point, that goes away and in fact starts counting the opposite direction. So then they become more and more looking towards peace in some fashion. I understand. Arumba, what did you get out of your out of your war? Nassau? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Can't you see the little bureaucrat standing there, Corin? He's just hanging out. <laughs> He's looking around. He's pretty happy with his work, I think. I think one of that arm has got to get really tired. Yeah, he never I... puts it down. He just holds it there. It's a left one too, you know. Yeah, it weighs more on the right. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, you know, most people have a dominant right hand, but <laughs> I understand where you're coming from. Why would it be the right hand? I why would it? Why would it be? Why would it be dominant? I I'm just, most people have a dominant right hand, man. But why? Could you explain in in, in I, like really good detail? Something to do with uh, brain <laughs> brain size. I can't remember brain size and culture and masturbation as well. Of course, as we're all hinting at. Yeah, I, I understood that. It was in the subtext. Mm hmm. I've hovered <laughs> over the tooltip. I got it. Oh, you occupy all those now. Okay. I don't know. Brandenburg could be pretty big after this. We'll see. I'm not totally sold on it, but... I think you should be. We'll see. I'm going to make Poland bigger. So, Northern Line, you realize that if you take... If you full annex Hess... Yeah. That the three of us are going to be, like, all on each other's borders, like, right next to each other? We basically are anyway. I mean, Hess was the only thing in between us. It's either we're all on each other's borders or I wait for you to take it, so we're all on each other's borders. That's true. That's true. Of course, you're, uh, you, you don't accept that culture, do you? Ah, you do. Damn. Boop. Nope. Well, there's nothing I can do. You're gonna steal the only land I actually have access to grow. You're stealing my land. It's like Crusader Kings 2 all over. <laughs> How is this? <laughs> you have so much land around you. Me, I have an, or I have a human player on my north. And then directly to my east is Bohemia, who is huge. South of me is, like, Austria and Bavaria. Yeah, well, I got no well, other options. See, the problem is, okay, this this patch was great because you can build tall, right? But what I need is I need the option to be able to, like, divide my provinces in half and have more provinces. Just, like, <laughs> Mainz is now two provinces, and uh -huh. I'm going to develop them both, and then I'm going to split them again. It's like, there's nowhere to expand. Well, you got, can't you expand south to uh, through the Palatinate or Ansbach or something? The Palatinate is my ally, and they're allied with Austria. Oh, okay. Well, that's Ansbach not my fault. <laughs> is allied with Bavaria. Trier is allied with you. Yes. Wurzburg is allied with the Emperor. <laughs> so, my options are a bit limited. Probably the best bet would be um, Ansbach. But Bavaria's kind of scary. They can be, yeah. Bohemia is really scary right now too, though. If you could get yeah. the de the declaration to work there, I'm amazed that. Uh, well, the em he's the emperor. He'll never help now. That's the problem. You can't use him in any of the wars anymore. Ah. I don't like that. I don't either. Why do we elect um, this guy? <laughs> I don't know. You want to vote for someone else? Yeah, maybe. Let's. Uh... Um, I don't know. Who does anyone have a compelling argument? Me, because <laughs> no. okay. I don't want to help people anyway. Well, you could. So, you'd have to bribe point. me. You could uh, help me out in a future war against uh, a certain saxophone player. <laughs> That's true. If he takes Wait castle away from me. Wait a minute. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying is all. I get like a pretty good 
benefit from being the uh, the emperor. Oh, it's already? I know, it's fast. I kind of just want to wait like a minute because this we got a 15% chance for the siege to succeed, so I'm pretty sure it's going to work. If you just give it a second here. Also, what's going on in Munster? Mm -hmm. This is... Is this Quill's doing? No. I'm not in on that. This is Edmund. They're just fighting... Something bad's gonna happen there. Alright, I'm I'm ready. Yeah. I can I can be persuaded to stop. Alright, let's do two. Let's do it. Someone else needs to pop yeah, there we go. Because I don't wanna I don't want that responsibility on my shoulders. Too much. But anyway, too much. Thanks for watching. We'll be back tomorrow with another episode. As always, especially for a series in its infancy, your support means the world to us. If you enjoyed the episode, consider clicking the like button and peeping the view sync link on a Roomba subreddit should it exist. And of course, subscribing to the viewpoints that you would like to follow every single day. As mentioned, we'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for watching. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye-bye. See you soon.